Recording in. <sighs> hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel, She Weaves Wisdom. Tonight I'm dropping into a pick a card with the topic and message. What wisdom does the goddess wish to communicate with you at this time? If you're new to pick a cards, this is something I haven't really spoken to in my previous videos, but if you are new to pick a cards, uh, you'll find in the description box some timestamps that will allow you to jump forward to your particular pile much quick, much more quickly than like having to like scroll through. Uh, so take some time to have a look at those timestamps. I'm going to pull up three images and I just ask that you take some time to feel which image you're most drawn to at this time. If it resonates, great. If it doesn't, don't make it fit. I'm a massive advocate in trusting in your own wisdom and intuition. Uh, I do offer personalized readings. I'll also drop that link in the comment or the details comments box. I'll just put it in the description box. Uh, so feel free to book in and find a suitable time to book in for a personalized reading with me. All right, my darlings, let's have a look at the images today. Uh, I'm just going to bring up the screen. Okay, so taking a moment, hmm, take a deep breath and just allow yourself to be drawn to one of the images on the screen. Goddess one, goddess two, or goddess three. What messages does she hold for you on this day? All right, let's jump in. To pile number one. If you were drawn to pile number one, then this is your reading. The wisdom the goddess wishes to communicate with you at this time. So your anchoring card is actually Mother Mary and it's miracles. You have got healing is happening and it says you're not broken. Trust the process. It's safe to soften. I love these cards. These are the Rose um, Oracle. By Rebecca Campbell. Oh, it's so beautiful. You have got supermoon attraction. And then you've also got the Ten of Cups. So the goddess would like to say to you on this day, part number one, that you are pulling all that you deserve, I'm hearing all that you deserve towards you at this time. You may be coming up against some fears and doubts and like mistrusting that all that you desire and that you deserve is actually coming to you. But the goddess is reassuring you that it is. Miracles are on their way. It's really important at this time to keep your thoughts very pure I'm hearing so what this looks like is really staying in a an energy of I'm hearing certainty it's like staying in the energy of certainty that all that you wish all that you desire all that you deserve is coming this is inevitable your ten of cups your ultimate fulfillment and the more you sit in that space of trust whilst taking the necessary action steps it's kind of not being it's that finding that really sweet spot between action and receptivity so taking the action then letting go of attachment and being receptive uh there is a lot around trust like this message around really trusting um trusting that it's coming to you i really feel this this is, it's, it's flowing to you. You may be seeing um, rainbows as a sign of this blessing coming in. It's interesting. 
feel like it's a, a particular blessing. It's coming towards you at this time. And you also may be seeing a number sequence 777. Mm. I actually feel like this is something that you felt like you've actually been desiring for such a long time. And it, it's felt too big. It's felt like it's, oh, it's too big. It's too big to manifest in my life. But it's not. And it is coming. Spirit is really asking you, oh my God, <clears throat> Jesus, I don't think I have any water left. I just felt my throat close. <clears throat> Oh, spirit is really asking you to balance your uh, alone time with time with others at this in this in this process. Um, something to do with your energy. Yeah. Because I feel like you're actually going through quite a big process spiritually. Uh, like on a soul level, you're actually going through a really big transformation, um, an evolution I'm hearing. And so it's really important to honor where you're at, like really listen to your body, listen to your energy and what it is that you need at this time. Because that's also going to help these miracles come to you. Yeah. You're really wise, part number one. You hold a lot of wisdom. Your soul's been here many times before. Yeah. And you're really being recognized for all the good work that you do here. The way that you show up, I'm hearing for others, is admirable. And so... I just want to take this moment to really like allow that, like receive that, like really receive that. Really receive those words and the energy behind them because I, it's channeling through me. This is spirit acknowledging you and really seeing you and all of the work that you do in this world to make it a better place. Yeah. I feel like there is going to be a bit of a crossroads moment coming up. And in the crossroads moment, you're going to be encouraged to choose. And it's choosing from a heart-centered place, not from the mind, but from your truth, like your truest truth. And in trusting that and following that path, you are going to experience these miraculous miracles and this fulfillment yeah just trust I'm really feeling that just really trusting your path and really like I, there's this like self-acknowledgement it's like spirit is wanting you to really like honor yourself, like honor your journey, honor the processes that you've been through and really like soften to yourself. See the truth of who you are, soften to yourself. Yeah. And be really gentle, gentle and mothering, like self-nurture, self-mothering. Excuse me. All right, part number one, that feels complete. Uh, hit like, subscribe if you like my vibe. Comment below. Uh, and I hope to see you again soon. Ciao. Okay. File number two.
rule like cool, clear. Pile number two, if you were drawn to this card, this is your anchor card. School, the future. You have got the rose garden. The Ten of Pentacles. And then Gratitude. So if you were drawn to goddess number two, the goddess's wisdom for you is... Spirit is really um, encouraging you uh, and the goddess is really encouraging you to, I feel like this um, coming back into the practice of forgiveness, self-forgiveness and gratitude. So I feel like you've been really worried about money um, so I feel this, like, this, like, oh, like this, this fears popping up around, um, yeah, around your future and your stability and your money. That's what it feels like. Um, and the goddess's wisdom for you is that this period of time in particular, whenever you're landing on this reading, this period of time in particular is around really focusing on being gentle with yourself, nourishing yourself, returning to innocence and, and forgiving all parts of you. It's also a time of just practicing gratitude for the blessings that already exist in your world. Um, it's actually through these practices, it's through these this presence with life and yourself that you're going to really experience abundance. And it's not just monetary, it's like an internal abundance. Sorry if you can hear my devices going off. Um, yeah. For some reason, my nose is starting to get really irritated. I don't know if it's my candle, which it could be, uh, but I feel like there might be like a significance to that. Yeah, like maybe you're getting like a little bit irritated. Um, no, that's that's the message. Okay, spirit is saying. That, that saying, slow down and smell the roses, that's what spirit is saying. This is a time of slowing down, slowing down. And I'm hearing the future is created in the now. The future is created in the now. And so it's through the deep richness found in the present moment and like anchoring into that, that your future abundance is birthed if that makes sense i hope it does oh yeah i'm also being drawn to this like uh these like in this card you can see the symbolism in the back and on this is like another like this sacred geometry i'm not really sure what is that feel like it has to do with your root chakra for some reason I'm like I think because of this like this emblem I'm just really getting the sense that yeah there's some healing happening or needing to happen when it comes to your root chakra so your sense of stability and safety in yourself and the world
and you may be seeing like sacred symbols around you at this time so maybe pay attention to that yeah it, it's kind of reminding me like I go out into nature a lot and I always see uh, either in nature or even just in the environment around me but I always get shown um, symbols through uh, that like reflect the Nordic runes, and so I always receive messages through my uh, the symbols that are reflected back to me. So maybe pay attention to that. Maybe you're seeing some symbolism in your world, and it's just to really pay attention to that. But I feel like it's like this feels like it's it's going to happen for you. It is. It's going to happen. And maybe you've had some fears and doubts that this isn't going to be part of your future. But it's, I feel like the goddess is saying this is on its way. It's taken care of. Right now is about slowing down, smelling the roses, appreciating everything that you have created in your world. And most importantly, being super gentle and loving towards yourself. Spending time in that practice of self-love, self-devotion, forgiveness, forgiveness. Yeah. And gentleness. I just feel this like this real strong message around slowing down. Slow down. It's so funny. I'm actually receiving so much from this. This is my pile, I think. Um, because I keep seeing this this sign. Like, you know, when you're driving and you see slow down signs, I keep seeing that, like road, road signs, roadside signs. Um, so I feel like this is my pile around slowing down, slowing down the pace, just sinking back into the simplicity. Uh, and the simple practices of self-love, gentleness, really forgiving the parts of myself that want to like even be in that energy of like striving forward and tending to, to the fears of um, like safety and security and um, building firm foundations for my life. It's just like really practicing that gratitude. Like gratitude has fucking changed my life. Like I used to always hear it like, oh, you know, be grateful. And it used to be really fucking hard for me to access full transparency. It was so hard for me to access gratitude because I was in the depths of my shadow, the depths of like deep healing, deep, dark, emotional depths of like healing. And so I found it really hard to kind of like grasp and access true, a true sense of gratitude. And I don't even know where it kind of shifted. Um, I went through a bit of a health crisis and everything kind of changed for me. And from there, I really started to actually understand this power of gratitude and being grateful for all we have in this world. But this is a reminder to like revisit it, you know, because sometimes I do get caught up in the busyness of my day to day. And so it's about coming back to like, oh, okay, practicing gratitude, seeing through the lens of gratefulness. Yeah. Yeah, that feels true. Being playful. I'm just being really drawn to this little girl, you know, the inner child, the freedom she experiences and the joy and the lightness of spirit, you know, really tapping back into play because that's a really epic place to be in. I love it. I'm like a big kid and I love that. I love being playful. All right, my loves, that feels complete. Thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully it lands and resonated resonates where needed if you like my vibe subscribe um hit comment hit like comment below 
and I will see you again soon. Ciao. Hmm. Part number three, lucky last. So your card is <sighs> your anchor card is communion. Ishtar. Look at that. Fuck, I love it. There's a lot, like a lot of power in that card. Um, you've also got fruition. Uh, brother, brothers of the rose, sacred masculine, honor, protection, and support. Oh, look at that. So cool. These cards are beautiful. They're the rose oracle from um, Rebecca Campbell. I love them. They're just so yummy. And what else? And then you've got the five of pentacles. Sorry, like when I was in pile number two, my nose, my sinus started to get really irritated. I can't fucking speak tonight. I don't know what's going on. Like my words are just coming out all weirdly. Interesting. So fucking interesting. I, I don't know if you can see it, but see, there's a key. Look at my nails. They're so gross, but... There's a key on Ishtar's necklace, and this this looks like a necklace of bones. And there's a key, right? And then in this card, there's also a key. I feel there's significance in that. Give me a second. What is this? What is this? What is this? Part number three, the goddess's wisdom for you at this time is... I'm hearing, this is so weird, and this may be really, I don't know if this is going to make sense to anyone, but I'm, I, I'm really honouring what I feel and what I experience and what I receive, and I'm hearing daughter of bones, daughter of bones. What does that mean? Daughter of bones. I'm just going to start channeling because I can feel it coming through me. Daughter of Bones, you are the sacred gatekeeper of the ancient ways. Your soul's wisdom is here to unlock. Secrets of the ancient ways. This is about communing with the soul and expressing from this place. This is your key to freedom. This is your key to liberation. In order for this to come to fruition, there is a importance of healing your inner masculine energy your relationship to masculine energy it's allowing your masculine energy to create safety for your feminine soul that is the message that ishtar is communicating with you on this day Wow. There's also this really strong message coming through about protection, like mm, really looking at your masculine energy because we have both that exist within us, masculine and feminine energy. And it's really looking at how your masculine energy loves, honours, supports and protects your feminine energy so it's like really paying attention to the voice within you that 
yeah, it feels like like a dominating energy. Is it supportive, protective and honouring or is it dominating, critical and harsh is what I'm hearing. Yeah, there's and there's this balancing. <laughs> I kind of feel like this piles for me too. Um, but there's this balancing of energies. It's like really like learning how to balance and have a foot in both the feminine energy and the masculine energy healthy feminine healthy masculine and this is kind of like I feel like that's the journey you're on it's like inner union it's like this communion this soul communion and finding balance in that but I feel like it's on its way I feel like this oh I'm getting goosebumps all the back at the back of my spine like that kundalini energy but I feel like this is about there's a breakthrough and you're going to be harvesting it's like a completion. It's like you're going to find the key. You're going to unlock this. And through unlocking that, you're coming into this time, a time of fruition, a time of abundance, a time of like this liberated feel, uh, freedom feeling. Yeah. But it's not. It feel, it's interesting because I feel I'm looking at this mask and I feel like it's veiled, like you're not, you're not seeing something, but I also feel like you're not meant to just yet. I feel like something needs, there's going to be a shift. Don't know what that is, but there's going to be a shift and you're going to then feel this, this balance. I kind of feel like maybe a relationship's coming in and it's going to, bring this healing this deep healing of your energies interesting because I just keep then seeing the pregnant lady at the back I'm like I feel like there's yeah a potential relationship about to enter that's going to actually evoke deep emotions. Yeah, I just keep seeing union, 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 union. So I feel like you're about to come into union with someone. This is actually going to be the key that unlocks a lot that has been sitting inside of you. And it's going to allow you to come into balance uh, with yourself, but also with the world around you. And this is the energy that's going to be a result of that. This harvest energy, this fruition, this fullness, this abundance. It's colourful, it's juicy, it's alive, it's fresh, it's, yeah, it's plentiful. That's the word I'm getting. Cool. Curious. All right, pile number three, that feels complete. Uh, if you like my vibe, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Uh, leave a comment or like, and I'll, uh, I'll catch you next time. All right, sending you my love. Bye.